What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can develop accenting just using a basic dubao. Y'all already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to A Percussion Life, my name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload videos that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the comments, sharing the video, helping this channel grow the way it's growing, man, seriously. I am so beyond thankful for you guys and grateful for you guys, man. You have been such a great, great support to this channel and each one of these videos that I try to post, man. So again, I, I can't say thank you enough to each and every one of you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about accents. You gotta park the con hop Dion and give the god a quarter for some chowder. No, not those kind of accents. Accenting is just a tool that allows you to help develop your dynamics or your volume or what you're really trying to allow to stand out over everything else. And I'm going to use this exercise just using a basic dumbbell. So it's just going to be a couple of things that you can use within this basic dumbbell and then how you can actually branch off with it and kind of work alongside of it. So first, let's see if you can hear a difference with me just playing a basic dumbbell versus a dumbbell that I've added a little bit of more accenting to. Can you hear the subtle difference? You're probably like, Okay, on the accented one, he just played louder. Oh no, he just added an extra slap. Well, you're kind of right. What I'm doing is really enhancing the volume on parts of this pattern and then lowering the volume on other parts of this pattern. For example, the basic tumbao. The difference I did is on the second hit with your finger, I actually did it more of a kind of close slap feel before doing those two opens, for example. And then I just used another basic tumbao, but with the two opens, the first open actually lowered its volume, and then the second open, I kept the volume the same. So to hear that, Could you hear it? It just adds a different dynamic to, again, a very basic tumbao. And again, you can experiment with this and use, let's say, the bass as what you want accented or standing out. So it's gonna sound like this. It's crazy because everything else is the same. The only thing is that you enhance the bass so it could stand out. Again, you would probably never use that as a pattern or use that as something you're gonna play for a whole song. But just to say that you're gonna add it in the middle of you doing a tumbao and 
it just adds a little bit more character and flavor while you're playing. Again, my opens are staying the same volume, but what is kind of standing out is the bass and also the little palm slap that I'm doing before the opens. Again, it just adds different character to what you're currently doing. But why is this important? This just seems simple. Why are you even showing me this? The point is that you don't want to sound so monotone. You don't want to sound like you're just uh, like a loop. You want to have character in your playing and accenting certain things as long as it doesn't disrupt what's really going on around you. It really builds character in your style of playing. For example, I could do this pattern. That sounds great, just as is. Very simple, very basic, but let's start accenting certain things. It sounds completely different. And all I did was try to make the opens a little bit louder here on the Duma when I'm coming back. And as well as being a little bit more slappish and accented here when it comes to doing the bass finger movement. I even used some form of accenting with the exercise that I taught just this past week, the weak exercise where I'm using kind of my weak hand to do two opens and where I was accenting was really the open slaps. That really stands out as well as the open that I did when I was coming back, for example. If you notice that like those things are what stand out in that exercise. Again, everything else is being done the same, but the two parts that are really standing out is it just excites me when you're able to add some form of dynamic using accented notes and causing those notes to really stand out in the middle of your playing. And if you're just gonna be using a tumbao to try to get to learn this, don't forget, you know, you if you have two drums, try to use two drums and be dynamic here and try to accent what you're doing here, for example. Again, what stands out is that doom, 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 doom. Like, th like that is what like should really get you excited when you can add depth and really just add a little bit more character to something so simple. And if you notice, I'm enhancing one part and then lowering the volume on another part. So that's very, very important when you're again trying to accent and have certain things stand out. And once you get to apply this and kind of figure it out and make it fit your style, when you start to solo, that's where it gets really important. Because for example, this is the same exact thing.
just so much fun when you start to get some accenting on the congas. But all right, y'all, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, take your time, have fun with it. Start to experiment on other patterns you may know and see where you can lower the volume on some parts and kind of enhance the parts of others and try to add a little bit more pizzazz to that. You know, again, this is practice. This is where you get to be a little bit more experimental and have some fun with it and really challenge yourself to just take something so simple and make it a little bit more exciting. But are y'all, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.